now, the Fox Illinois Sports Desk. Gearing up now for high school holiday tournaments this week, Alexandria. That's right, AJ, and our Dante Farco joins us with the details. Another busy week of basketball here in Central Illinois, and as we gear up for our high school holiday tournaments, the Illini have risen once again in this week's AP Top 25. After a week off and a win over Colgate on Sunday, the Illini are up three spots in this week's AP Top 25 poll. The Illini were originally 16th in the rankings after a win two weeks ago over FAU and a loss against Tennessee. But they rose to number 13 this week. The Illini won by 17 against a tournament team in Colgate. The Illini's Quincy Gurrier beginning to get into a groove on both sides of the ball and is excited to see how this team can continue to improve and build on that momentum moving forward. Yeah, we got we got multiple guys that can score double digits every game. Um, and it's obviously it's going to be good for us uh, when it happens. But like, like we said, um, I think we really got to focus on our defense uh, for our offense to get going. When we, when we locked in on defense and not making a lot of mistakes, uh, we're a pretty good team, uh, one, of, one of the best in the country, and we just got to keep doing that. Former Illinois running back Richard Mendenhall making headlines today for a tweet he put on X this morning regarding racial differences in football and calling out the NFL to let the two sides play in a head-to-head -head game. He is facing pushback from players across the league regarding the comments, but Mendenhall responding by standing by his comments and doubling down on them. And on to high school basketball action from Monday night. Centennial playing host to Lincoln. Lincoln coming into this one undefeated. Chloe Froby finding Becca Hudsig on the baseline. She would shoot the mid-range shot. Then Lincoln finding Chloe Froby down low. A lot of contact. Nothing called. She would put it back up. Basket good. Taryn Soltenberg easy lay-in for Lincoln. Centennial looking to get their first basket in the second. Able to knock this one down right here. Lincoln's Chloe Froby with 21 in the first quarter. Lincoln would go on to win this one. And St. Thomas Moore on the road to take on Olympia. Peace Boomba taking it to the lane with a little contact. Basket good. Then Peace finding Andrew Tay for the easy lay-in. St. Thomas Moore with the early lead. Wilson Kirby finding his teammate Owen Yeager for the layup. Peace once again. He take it into the lane. Up and in. St. Thomas Moore will go on to dominate this one and win by a final score of 53-44. to 44. For everything in Central Illinois sports, make sure to head on over to our website. That'll do it in sports. I'm Dante Furco.